All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another brand new edition of the Rude Dude Review. Uh, here with you, as always, providing you with the, the highest quality of content here on the YouTube platform. And as always, it, it is my honor and my duty and my privilege to bring you another another brand new edition. Uh, it's a new soda review, and uh, frankly, I, I couldn't be more excited. This is a, a product that is is new to me. I don't really venture into this this land, this category, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun to try out something new and and see what our thoughts are on it. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And I am, and staying safe and healthy, and hope everything's going well for you guys. So. With me, as always, is my partner in crime, the great Hunter the Goat, bringing in our product. Hunter, if you'd like to swing on in here and, and show the folks what we got here today. Yeah, it's great to be back. You know, it's, I got it's the, fantastic I got, I got to the, have you. I got the uh, yeah. sweatshirt on. You yeah. know what time that is. Yeah. That's it's, rude dude review yeah. time. It sure is. Yeah. Um, bringing the product in. This yeah. is a special one today. Yep, we so, could only find it in the two liter uh, variety, so and, and we got a big what? boy with you. We only go big. Yeah. Go big, big or go home. Go big or go home, folks. So, and, uh, you know, we got a lot of goodies yeah. in here. We got a composition over. But the show, the yeah. show today is this bad yeah. boy. Yeah, guys, this man's the only person on the history of the planet to have a 6.0 GPA. And, uh, you know, he's always he's always in study mode. So he's he's always providing for himself. It's great to be back. So look at that. The big two liter of a can to dry bold. I've heard it's a, it's a sort of spicy twinge on the old... Uh, Classic ginger ale product, Hunter. You know anything about this product? I don't. You know, I've heard, I've seen a lot of things about Canada. Yeah. I think they have normal ginger ale. They do. Um, I'm not a big fan of ginger ale. They're a big club soda yeah. provider out there. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm very excited to see ginger ale. I don't even know what that means, um, but uh, I think we're ready to go. It's like and a rip off a sprite. You know? and, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm anxious to see what it uh, tastes like. Me too. I really am. Uh, I heard about this one from the great Badlands Chugs. So. Uh, once you're done with this video, maybe uh, don't touch that mouse and head on over and, uh, and check out some of the great Badlands chugs, if you would. All right, uh, let's crack this puppy. I'm going to have to set this down so I can't get a super close-up, but uh, you can uh, get the gist from there. Now, we have a, we're switching it up a little bit today. Freezer, freezer cold. We are uh, switching it up a little bit today. Um, instead of Houston's Astro Spinner, yeah, we are going yep. with the Boston Red Sox. I'm glad Red you picked Sox. up on that. I did not tell him about that. Yeah. And we're uh, going with the Boston Red Sox. Glad he they're, was able to pick up on it. Just as much cheaters as uh, the Houston Astros are. And if you're a fan of the Red Sox, well then, uh, shame I, on you. I apologize. Shame on shame you. Shame on you. Cheaters. Definitely. Cheaters. So, uh, first initial pour. It looks. Uh, it's it's car very carbonated. Kind of looks like a light beer. I was thinking the same thing. It's even got a nice little head on there. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and the sizzle is I, really making my nipples hard. It, it did have a nice sizzle. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not aware that this has any alcohol in it, but you know, Hunter, we Hunter get, Root over here, we ain't, might uh, uh, get a little buzz. Yeah, Hunter's not against a little drinky poo, <laughs> as uh, many of his, his compatriots would, would, would inform you of. Um, Hunter, initial thoughts looking at it. Um, it uh, it looks very interesting. That is a nice crisp and smell. And it smells very good. I don't even... It smells like Sprite, I'm not going to lie, but I love the smell of Sprite. It does smell it's, like It's a Sprite. very crisp smell yeah. and uh, it's, uh, it, it cleanses cleanses your nostrils. It's very much so uh, Sprite, Sprite looking like. It, it does, yeah. It, uh, it got a little darker twinge to it there, but uh, I think that's to be expected. It's bold, so, you know, they're, uh, they're trying to get to the chopping block there. Yeah. What, what do you think? Should we just, just go for it? I think we should. Yeah. It's very similar to Sprite. It but is. Hopefully the taste is different. Salute. Hmm. Udamas? Very carbonated. It is. It very much is. All right, folks. One for the belly. It's not great. It's kind of strong. For it a is. Soda. It's very strong. It actually, it actually singes the back of the throat a little bit. There's it a does. bit of a burn there. You know, a lot of people tell you to drink. I think it's Sprite when you're sick. Yeah. <clears throat> and this is burning my throat. Yeah. Wow. Um, 
But, uh, I mean, truthfully, I think this is killing more than those bad bacteria. I mean, this is killing inside my body. Yeah. It's, it's very potent and very strong. It is. It, uh, you know, it's supposed to be a, a sort of spicy flavor, but you don't really get that. It kind of just takes the spice out. It, it's a very mundane flavor, but it hits hard in, in how, in, in the sort of heat that it gives off. In the way it kind of burns the back of your throat, and uh, you can feel it all the way down. <laughs> and the, it's still uh, burning. You can feel it all the way down the esophageal tube into the stomach there, and uh, it, it's not the most pleasant experience. With that said, I don't think it's the worst tasting thing in the world. No, I mean, it's, the initial taste is great, but, I mean, my throat is still burning from that first initial swallow. I think, I think a lot like Sprite, too, it's very reminiscent of that flavor. But once you get past that, it kind of just doesn't go anywhere. It's very flat. Other than that sensation it's giving off, but there's just nothing behind it. Um, it's not something I'd want to drink a lot of because it, it, I've taken three swallows and it doesn't feel good in my mouth and my stomach. And uh, who knows how it's going to feel in a day or two when, you know, when when the man has to do his duty. I mean, if but, you would have closed my eyes um, and gave me this, especially when I was sick, I would have thought that this was a. Uh, you know, inside body killer, as, yeah. as some people yeah. like to say. Yeah, it almost tastes like Sprite with a hot sauce to it. Um, yeah. So I can't, you know, I think there's pros and cons here, but you got to go and compare this to something. So would I take this over a Sprite? Absolutely not. Would I take this over a normal Canada ginger ale? Probably not. Um, Hunter, any, any thoughts I mean, I, here? I don't think I've, I mean, I think I've had normal ginger ale and I really had... I, I mean, I thought I thought of it as sparkling water. Yeah, that's close yeah. to what it is. So Perrier esque. Yeah. I I mean, I I have no interest in having this ever again. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, we have a big uh, bottle. But um, you know, I, I agree. Not in the sense that it's bad. In the sense that there are better products out there. Definitely out there. And uh, I just think that you know, on the totem the totem pole of uh, of the soft drink genre, I just. This is somewhere maybe in the middle, in the lower like forty percent area. And there's just better sodas out there. Uh, I can't see a return to this. Um, you want me to start with the with the score? Or yeah, you want? yeah, of course you gotta go. It's a tough one. Again, um, there are pros and there are cons. I'm gonna give it a solid five eight. It, it's not a horrible product. It's not something I'm gonna go super low. It's also definitely not you know worthy of that big Usurga. It's just right there, um, just below that six mark. Maybe try it if this is your thing, but I, I, you know, it's just not for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely would piggyback on that. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of people out there hopping on the bandwagon these days. And yeah. uh, I'm going to get close to you, um, you know, but I'm going to go even lower. Yeah. I think this is probably around a 4.8. Um, truthfully, I'm not a fan. It's very strong. I mean, my my mouth is starting to burn a little bit now. And, uh, kind of got a secondary kick there. Yeah. Yeah, um, so, you know, the bum hole might not feel the greatest later, yeah. but, uh, you know, we got baby wipes for a reason, folks, oh, yeah. and uh, you know, no, no toilet paper uh, shortage here in the Redo Review household. So. You got the wipes or you got the bidet, this might be a product where it comes in handy. Definitely. So, um, it, you know, it's not bad, but... Um, just not just not our, uh, our it, cup it of tea. It is a caffeine-free soda, yeah. um, but I, I, I really don't see myself ever going back. Yeah. Well, I think that about uh, does it here for us. I want to say uh, happy birthday from the both of us to all our birthdays out there. Absolutely. Like, once again, I hope you're all having, you're all staying safe and healthy and in a wonderful day. Um, it's great to be back here once again. And yeah, and uh, it was uh, it was great to be here. I'm gonna yeah. get her. I'm gonna get her packed up and I'll, yeah. I'll head out. Absolutely. Um, it was great having you. I know you're in a hurry today. Thank you. I hope yep. you travel travel safe. It and, was. Uh, uh, will we see you back here next time? Oh, I'll be back next week. Of course, I will be back. Next he knows. Week. He knows yep. what's up. All right. All right, y'all. It was great to see you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, great review. Glad to have you. Thank you. Yeah. You want to finish up here? Yep. Yeah, I got you. Got yep, you. You got it. All right. He he's got to head out. He's a very busy man making the million dollar deals. Um, folks. Nothing else to say here. Just, you know, another product review. I hope you all have a great day, and thank you for enjoying the content and, and commenting and subscribing and liking. It means the world to us. So uh, from the both of us here at the Review, it's great having you. We'll catch you next time, everybody. Cheers.